As a kid, did you ever grow up thinking, geez, I want to be a storage manager? Well, we'll find out what it takes here on today's episode of SharePoint Self Storage, a day in the life of. Oh, well, hello there. If you're wondering why I'm sitting down, it's because this is one of the many tasks that you have to do every single day. Along with sitting down, you also have to make sure that your store is decorated with beautiful balloons that don't even match the holiday. Also, on particularly windy days, you want to make sure that you bring in your box sign. If not, the wind will blow it to McDonald's and then they're going to get mad at you and scream. As a manager, you also want to make sure that you are well prepared. For instance, when Bay gets mad at you, you still have some clothes here at the store. And let's not forget, you may get hungry. So be sure that you go ahead and keep a banana and some old crackers with you at all times. Other daily tasks may include, and are not limited to, picking up dead bugs, wave goodbye to your tenants, petting your plants, make sure the wind is doing its job and flipping over all your mats, making sure the Keurig has enough water at the coffee station. Looks good to me. Hide all your trash in the storage room. Scrubbing graffiti off the door. Make friends with the FedEx guy. Do some more sitting down. Watch random videos on YouTube. Answering the phone. Thank you for calling SurePoint, home of the Harambee special. How can I help you? Have deep conversations with other managers at other locations over the cost of landscaping. Ending the call on a good note. Well, yes, ma'am, our prices are really high. You should just go to public storage. They're better. Don't forget to do more sitting. Cleaning off more graffiti from the wall. Let that sit. Getting chewed out by a customer. Sir, can you please keep your voice down? And I will raise my voice. I'll let everybody in here know that this man is rude. And I'll be a jerk. <laughs> Sure point, a day in the life of, we'll return after these messages. Are you tired of getting picked on? Yes. Hate getting bullied at school? Mm-hmm. Well, we got the solution for you. Really? Get rid of all those goose with the new and improved. Goof off. Works the first time. But that's graffiti remover. No, 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 no. Goof off. Now you may be wondering, is it really that simple to get rid of bullies? Well, yes it is. Well, what do I got to do, mister? I'll tell you right now. First off, you want to get your awesome can of goof off and then spray the bully. And just like that, the bully's gone. Order today. Get yourself a can of goof off for the low price of $14.95 or two monthly payments of $38.75. Order goof off in the next five minutes and also receive a free wet and wild lipstick from Pauline herself. So get yourself a bottle of goof off today. Warning, may cause herpes, all other types of STDs. Goof off is not responsible for the damages that may be caused during the spray. In a world, one man, one desire. Coming this fall, they were young. Hold tight, they're back. He's back, they're all back. And this time, with his trusty banana, he will go on a quest that no one has gone before. Banana, I can't do this without you. I need you. Will you come with me? Arnold, I'd go to the end of the world with you. But this is gonna be my last ride. We'll make it count, Banana. We'll do it for glory and God. But does Arno know that this adventure will push the banana to his limits? Banana, we're gonna have to run! They're shooting at us! Arnold, I'm not gonna make it. You're gonna have to run. Save yourself! Banana, no! Get down! Uh, Arnold, they got me, buddy. I don't think I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Banana, no! I could fix you! I could fix this! I could do it! Banana, 
Don't leave me, buddy. I can't go home without you. You're gonna have to, Arnold. And remember, I'll always, uh, I'll always love, love. Banana, no! Banana! The Banana Chronicles 4 Yellow Peel Saga coming to theaters near you. Welcome back to SharePoint Self Storage, a day in the life of. Now we're gonna take a few questions from some of our audience members. We have Winona from Wisconsin writing in, how do you deal with disgruntled customers? Well, Winona, that was a great question. Let me go ahead and show you two demonstrations of what not to do and what to do. Hello, ma'am. How can I be of service of you today? I want a fries. I want an ice cream, dumbass. Uh, ma'am, this isn't a McDonald's. Now let me show you the proper way on how to handle a disgruntled customer. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you today? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of my store! Perfect! Our next question comes from Jason in Paris, Texas. He asks, Stephen, do you ever get bored? Well, let me answer that in a song. Oh, yes. Our last and final question comes from Megan over in New Braunfels. She just wanted to ask what time we close. We close at six. It is six. Oh, shoot. And that's how you lock a door. Hey, you open? Uh, I don't work here, ma'am. Sorry. All right, kiddos, we're off. So tune in next week for another episode of SharePoint Self-Storage, a day in the life of.